I visit several different shelters every week and I video and photograph dogs and I hope that they are able to be seen and saved. Hi, my name is Rita. I am a professional photographer and this is a story about shelter dogs for GeoBeats. My biggest inspiration was when I went to a rescue and adopted my first rescue dog. There were so many dogs and as I drove away with the one dog that I had, I was trying to think of how I could help. I couldn't donate financially, but I did have my camera. And so I thought, what if I could go back and help these dogs with beautiful photos and just have people see them in a different light. Initially, I was afraid to go to the shelter. I was worried that my heart would be shattered daily and I realized that it's their hearts that break every day. These animals are waiting for somebody to just take them out for a walk or just give them a little bit of love or a treat or make them feel better about missing their family or being alone at the shelter. I volunteer in a lot of really overcrowded Los Angeles shelters. They are open intake, which means that the more animals come in, the more animals have to go out, and if they can't help the dogs coming in, they have to start making choices. So sometimes it gets very intense when they're running out of time. I walk the kennels and I just start talking to the dogs and I hang out with them at their kennels for a little while and I film them. Often I think we don't deserve dogs because of that forgiving nature, that burst of wiggle and love and kindness that they just want to keep giving no matter what's happened to them. I do think about these dogs at night. I go to sleep thinking if Callie is going to be noticed or if the video was bright enough to capture what she needed for somebody to see her and want her. I go back to the shelters to see how they're doing. Hi girls! There was a pair of two large senior female dogs in the same kennel together. I walked up to the kennel, they stood up and wiggled and were happy to see me. After a few days nobody came for them so I went back and took them home and surprised my husband who was actually really happy to meet them. I don't have a count on how many shelter dogs that I photographed to date but I would say it's hundreds. is a large pit bull mastiff mix named Knuckles. At 114 pounds, he was quite scary looking. I went into his kennel with him and I took him out into the yard and what a love. I mean, he just melted into me. The joy <laughs> that I feel when I see these dogs walk out of the shelter, when I'm there to film their freedom walk, I really feel like they know they know that they're getting out and they're so grateful and it's really quite heartwarming. I try and fight the stereotype of shelter dogs being defective. It's mostly just because of the situation that they were in that, that they landed there. Shelter dogs have taught me to be patient and grateful and to worry about other people's hearts instead of my own.